This is Tony Hendrick with Painting Spirit, and today I'm going to talk about the sensational. This is my attempt at fireworks here. Um, so I always find it interesting to look up definition of words that we use a lot. Or common words that <clears throat> you just don't think about the definition, maybe. We just use the word. So I looked up this word. And the definition that they have for sensational is event, person, or piece of information causing great public interest or, and excitement. And then another definition is an account or publication or clickbait presenting information in a way that is intended to provoke public interest and excitement at the expense of accuracy. And then there's one that's informal, and that's the one that I want to focus on today. And that informal definition is just simply very good indeed very impressive or attractive and really how I kind of came about this was looking for a way to talk about emotions really and I've heard different ideas about emotions and specifically um, I've heard that emotions are coming from our thoughts and what we're doing with our thoughts are creating the emotions that we're experiencing. I've also heard it said that well, that's not completely accurate that we are actually feeling first, feeling our way through life. And what happens is we have a feeling, a particular feeling, and we say, oh, I shouldn't be having this feeling. And Then we create another feeling, the emotion, from those thoughts. So, I guess both are true, probably. I'll leave it up to you to figure out which one is true or not. It's really not the point. I'm just more interested in talking about this idea of emotions and where it's coming from and I'm kind of getting into a little landscape here I think that's what I'm going to do is just focus on the sensation of what I'm painting today but wanted to give a little bit of something to focus on. So, with sensations, they're, the reason I like that word instead of emotions is because sensation kind of comes before the interpretation. That's why I thought it was interesting that the definition for sensational is all about interpretation. It's all about, um, you know, presenting a or an event, person, piece, or information causing great public interest. And then the other one is that excitement and interest is at the expense of accuracy. So it's all about kind of interpretation. And it's what we're doing with our, 
our mind around that sensation. But if sensations that we're experiencing are coming before interpretation, then it's been my experience that if we can get to that place of not necessarily interpreting our emotions, but allowing them to be the sensations that they are, there's something magical that can happen. And I would say even it turns into, I kind of like that informal, talking about it as informal. Very good indeed. Very impressive. Well, that's kind of my experience when I get out of that place of interpreting what it is that I'm feeling. It moves into this open place that does feel very good indeed. <laughs> But right now, I'm just going to get into the sensation of what I'm painting. I'm doing a large, or a expand, this is actually a very small painting, but it's an expansive view that I came upon when hiking out at a remote place of Sleeping Bear National Park. It's kind of more in the northern end of the park where there aren't the dunes, but it's a nice nature hike. And came to this open place, and the, the view is just, to me, sensational. It was kind of a gray day. So right now, instead of painting this painting with this kind of gray day, I have found that on these gray days that color actually can get heightened a lot more. And so I'm going to just sort of play with color here, and again, it's like what I've been saying, I'm just sort of feeling my way through this. Leaving the interpretation out and just getting into the sensations of the different values. Just bringing in some darks there. I think I'm going to bring in actually some deep phthalo blue there. It's just this field with these trees kind of dotted. I'm not sure exactly how I'm going to create this effect that I'm impressed by with this view. Right there, I just used a bit of that thicker gel. And what that thicker gel is, that gel medium, it's a clear medium. It dries clear. It has a little bit of a a little bit of a tintish white, you know, like Elmer's glue dries clear. So, I'm just going to play around with little details in the foreground. Maybe that was a shadow underneath that bush. Maybe I'll start to see this green. So, I just put a little white there. 
and some phthalo green on top of it. it kind of creates a place in the field that gives it some distance. And this is all just very light touch. And I'm just really playing with the uh, the medium that I've put on there. And I I tend to do this medium in a little bit of a sporadic way. It's not consistent throughout. It's thicker in some places and that variety of changing it up creates a natural effect of the variety that actually happens in nature. Now I'm sort of seeing now that I got these darkers on darker colors on here. I'm gonna play around with this background hills in the distance. So one thing about these intense colors, you put them on first that you can do this with like I just did there with this white, go over the top of it, mute it out a little bit, but it still has that color underneath. It's just sort of playing around with it. Allowing the brush stroke to give a sensation. And so I'm going to, again, this is a kind of a cloudy, misty day, so I'm going to bring in some of that cloudy mistiness over the top. You see that, that pink underneath. I'm going to let that kind of come through. And I'm not really paying too close attention to the the image that I'm working from because I want to really feel this what's happening in the painting. This is again like what I do with the abstractions. I'm just putting paint on and allowing myself to respond to what happens once the paint's on there. So again, it's like we were, I was just saying about emotions, feeling your way through, the feeling comes first. It's like the brush stroke or the paint you put on the canvas comes first and then you, then you interpret that. I'm just looking to create some dimension to this. All right, well, this might be one of those paintings I play with a little bit longer. Let's give some definition to this tree in the foreground here. Some highlight. These are the kinds of things that you could just play around, play around, play around. Just have fun with. Anyway, so I think that's what I'll do with this painting. See what I can make happen with it. And get out your own brushes and Play around with feeling into whatever it is you're creating without the interpretation. See what happens.
Get into the sensation of it. And maybe you'll find something very good indeed. Have fun, and we'll see you tomorrow.